now we're going to see if I can find something for the Derby. What are your plans for the Kentucky Derby? Well, I was thinking about going to Arapahoe Park. What do you have going on over there? There are going to be a few parties at Arapahoe Park. The track will be open. People will be watching the races from Churchill Downs. There's going to be a hat contest as you'd expect at a Derby party, a live auction with some great prizes, including Broncos tickets, a bill from Puerto Vallarta and, and a chance to win some prizes if you can pick the winner of the Derby. But uh, I don't just want to be a winner picking the horses. I want to be a winner in, in how I look. And we have Scott Peterson here from Players Clothing Company in downtown Denver. And uh, Scott, it's, it's nice of you to, to join us. And can you tell us, you look like you're setting up someone for the, for the Kentucky Derby here. Yeah, we uh, get a lot of Kentucky Derby people in. So we kind of prepare for that. We have a lot of bright colors, a lot of uh, casual uh, fabrics, lightweight fabrics for the weather. Uh, we have a lot of accessories, so we're prepared for that. And why would this be a good derby outfit here? Well, just the blend of color, uh, the accessories. Uh, this would look great with a bow tie on it too. I haven't put one on yet, but uh, the vest gives it a little bit more interest. What I like yeah. about it is it has like the different color schemes, but uh -huh. all with blue, and the different texture and patterns. I think that's amazing. Yeah, a lot of men don't know they can put all that together, and when they dress normally, they don't put it together at all. But for the Derby, sometimes they'll step out and do some things that they feel a little uncomfortable in, but it looks really cool. Well, I've always wanted to be a model, and I'm going to live out that wish. And so, Janelle, let's walk around the store and, and let's find something, something that I can try on and that maybe I can wear to the Derby. Thank, thank you, Scott. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's, Let's try and find a, a, a blazer for me because you know okay. this is sort of a, a blazer yeah. I wear to a formal event, but, sure. but what about something special for the Derby? Ooh, this one's perfect. This one here? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we'll use that. Okay. And um, I think I'll need a bow tie. The yes. bow tie is the special part for the men in the same way that the hat's the special part for the women. So I like the red pocket square. I think I'm gonna go some, a little same, red bow tie, something that pops. There it is. All right, there it is. Okay, let's Perfect. give it a try real quick. Thank you. This let's is go gonna look the, great with, on you. Okay, so we'll go with the bow tie first. We'll see if I can tie it myself. I've had to wear a bow tie when I was announcing boxing and then when I worked in the publishing office at the Library of Congress, the director of publishing, Ralph Eubanks, he was the one who taught me how to tie a bow tie. So let's see if I learned anything. Oh, you picked out a nice tie, Janelle. I like it, very stylish. The red gives it a little flair. Okay, let's see how it looks with the jacket. Oh, this is very comfortable. You look amazing. What do you think, Kentucky Derby ready? Yes, very. Okay, let's go do it. Let's go.